In the last three years, we spent uh, plus minus 15 million on this factory. We upgraded the, the high volume line where we upgraded the low bake oven and then we upgraded the high bake oven and then we upgraded uh, both extruders on that line. And that line alone in that 15 million, it took around about uh, 10 million. And then we went to the low volume line where we upgraded the, the extrusion machine. Uh, which we call a D line, and then we've got another uh, uh, low volume line, which we call F line. We also upgraded the, the extrusion and the oven and the, and the banners. That actually helped us to be able to produce the amount of volumes that we are pushing now. Before then, we, we could hardly get to uh, 500 tons a month. And I'm, I'm proud to say that uh, today we are actually hitting about 800 tons a month uh, due to those uh, upgrades that we, we put on the line. we not experiencing the number of breakdowns that we used to experience uh, before. I mean, our plant availability is now running at above 90%. And uh, we also introduced a maintenance system there to ensure that we keep the equipment in the a, in a right shape, which also obviously improved our, our plant availability. And then when we did this, we involved actually the, the guys on the floor because I think my view is they are the ones who know better than us. We just did not sit and say, well, let's change this, let's change this, let's change this. Before we even embarked on this project, we had to ask them what is the biggest problem? And then they would tell us it's the jam ups, the chain keeps on breaking. And, and then we coll collected all that information and then we started to look at what needs to be done. And then with their help and the involvement of uh, the manufacturer of the machine, and then we started to embark on a journey of doing the upgrades. <coughs> One of the things that uh, really uh, motivated us in, in spending in R&D, we realized the importance of meeting uh, current uh, th uh, events that are happening in technology. And uh, the R&D came as an idea that we need to meet uh, the innovations that are happening. If you look at all the imports that are coming our way, we needed to keep ourselves abreast with modern technology. And as a result, we invested in getting modern uh, equipment that would meet the challenges that we are faced with. And currently in the R&D, we do have four welders that are professional welders, artisan welders. We do have metallurgist chemists who are really doing a, a splendid job in ensuring that the raw materials that are coming in are tested to the level that meets the, the, the requirements. We also, in work in process, get tested. And before we can actually run a product in bulk, we ensure that we take it to the laboratory subject it to what we call procurement document. Now, in so doing, we are making sure that all the necessary um, elements that are required in your world are off standard as to the required uh, set rules, your AWS, your Lloyds, your um, TUV, and that helps us a great deal. We also, in the past, had to rely solely on outside institutions to try and help us meet the, the challenges that we're facing. But now with this, uh, with the acquisition of this modern equipment, we are able to do things in-house. As we take our, our products outside, it's merely to try and, and, and verify that we are really advancing in the correct uh, uh, way. We are very proud of uh, what we've achieved here locally in uh, our factory. Uh, it's of course proudly South African and uh, for us to be the leading gases and welding company in sub saharan Africa, we need to have the capability uh, through this electrode factory to obviously differentiate ourselves from our competitors. Uh, through our R&D and the investment that we've made in this factory, we are repositioning ourselves as the leader in this local market and obviously we've got aspirations to grow our business not just locally but into the rest of Africa. So the capability that we've developed and enhanced through this facility is obviously putting us in a, in a preferential position, you know, to go and unlock potential in the rest of 
uh, the markets into Africa and also South Africa. And it, it also gives us the capability to adhere to our customers' requirements and needs. Uh, all that we do through our factory in terms of R&D is based on the voice of the customer. So we pay a lot of attention to what our customer requirements are. And we want to be the leaders in those different segments. So we invest a lot of time, energy and effort into making sure that we bring products and services to the market that we actually attend to our customer needs. So we're very proud of the facility and I think it's a key differentiator for ourselves in the local and of course in potentially the global market.